four masked robbers stormed a gas station in southeast Houston, met by a customer who was also armed. That customer opened fire, hitting three of the robbers. An innocent bystander was also injured during the gunfire. This happened around 8 p.m. at the Circle K Valero near the South Loop and Park Place. No, this isn't a Clint Eastwood Spaghetti Western. No, this actually happened. One citizen shot three would-be robbers and gave us all a masterclass on the sanctity of self-defense and the Second Amendment. This all started when those five robbery suspects walked into this store last night. They came up here, one of them waiting out in a getaway car, while four others walked in the store with masks on and began demanding customers of their belongings at gunpoint. The suspects are believed to be young men and possibly juveniles. They say the suspects walked in there and gunfire was, or and at some point, a man inside the store pulled out his gun. That was a customer. Gunfire was exchanged and APD says three out of the four suspects inside the store were hit by bullets. An innocent bystander was also struck by gunfire, but it's unclear who shot them. Uh, a, we believe another citizen that was inside the store uh, was armed uh, and he proceeded to discharge his uh, firearm at the suspects. At that time, the suspects, three of the suspects that had entered the store out of the four were hit by gunfire. During the time of the shooting spree, unfortunately, a bystander got hurt. However, it is unclear from which party. Now, if that doesn't underscore the importance of the Second Amendment to you, I, I simply don't know what does. This is a Valero gas station in Houston that's been victimized by crime a number of times. Obviously, the police are no particular deterrent, certainly not in the wider area in which this Valero is situated. And uh, you may not know this, but the police are not even responsible to stop a crime in progress. The courts have ruled rather consistently on that. They're responsible to investigate, to apprehend, but not actually stop criminal activity. That responsibility belongs solely to you and me. And more and more states are taking that responsibility very seriously. Florida recently became officially the 26th state to recognize and defend constitutional carry. Constitutional carry is now the dominant Second Amendment position in the nation, with more than half the states adopting and protecting it. And by the way, if you're like me and you've been wanting to get your concealed carry permit, but have found the barriers and the requirements to getting it just too burdensome to deal with, Guess what, gang? There's now an amazing solution to that. Countrywide Conceal is probably the quickest and easiest way for you to get your permit and carry legally in the majority of states in the country. That's right. You're not just going to be able to carry legally in your own state, but also in 84% of the whole of the nation. It's as quick and as easy as watching a video and taking a quiz. And thanks to Countrywide Concealed, your family is that much safer no matter where you go. So getting a concealed carry license has simply never been easier. Click on that link below and join the millions of patriots who've taken back their rights and started carrying legally with Countrywide Concealed today. But I have to say, I have to give credit where credit is due here. One of the primary reasons why we're seeing constitutional carry sweeping the nation as it is, is precisely because of the new conservative majority on the Supreme Court, which leftist liberals absolutely despise and hate. And there's plenty to hate and despise if you're a woke leftist, no question. As many of you know, back in June of last year, the Supreme Court handed down a ruling known as the Bruin decision, which involved the state of New York. New York officials tried to require gun owners to show, quote, proper cause to get a license to carry a concealed handgun outside the home. Now, keep in mind, the Second Amendment clearly states that American citizens have the right to bear arms, right? We have our constitutional right to carry guns. But the Democrat monopoly in New York doesn't think so. So the Supreme Court stepped in and in a six to three ruling, they struck down the laws blatantly unconstitutional. The court agreed that the only person, according to the Second Amendment, the only human being on the planet that should decide what the proper cause is for carrying a concealed weapon is the person carrying it, the person bearing it. That's what shall not be infringed 
means. And so the Bruin decision has been absolutely flipping liberals out ever since. And that's because it's officially overturning all of these lower court decisions that were upholding restrictive permit requirements for concealed gun carry. But that's all falling apart now, even in the bluest of blue states. And another reason for that is because the astonishing rise of what's come to be known as Second Amendment sanctuaries. Since their inception during the Obama era, Second Amendment sanctuaries promised safe haven for gun owners with law enforcement officials, particularly at the county level, promising to protect rather than violate their Second Amendment rights. Since their inception, Second Amendment sanctuaries have exploded across the nation such that today the vast majority of all counties in our country today have officially designated themselves Second Amendment sanctuaries. Sanctuaries. Nearly 2,000 of the just over 3,000 counties in the nation have designated themselves pro gun counties. In addition, countless sheriffs across the nation have pledged to uphold the Second Amendment, including every single sheriff in the state of Utah. But now, with constitutional carry being formally recognized in the majority of the states in our nation, we're really beginning to see something amazing happening in these Second Amendment sanctuaries. In effect, they're becoming the default law of the land, even in the bluest of blue states like we're seeing with New York. Oh, sure. Yeah. Well, leftist governors are going to continue to try to do their best to harass gun owners and ban so-called assault weapons and the like. But those days are clearly beginning to wane, especially given that the Supreme Court has become the most powerful Second Amendment sanctuary of them all. An era of constitutional carry is rising Gun-confiscating liberals have officially lost. Hey gang, if you want to connect with more courageous patriots and start taking action and organizing, be sure to join my Telegram group. I post the latest breaking news I find interesting and chat with my favorite patriots around the country and even the world. Click the link in the description below and join the conversation today.